Good job, Hollywood. You messed up Bob Marley's story, and now you did the same with Amy Winehouse. Just stop. You blew it! Hey everyone, welcome to another review. Welcome to my review for Back to Black, the Amy Winehouse story. This movie stars Marissa Bella, um, Eddie Marson, and Jack O'Connell, and the movie is directed by Sam Taylor Johnson. Is that it is? Is it Aaron Taylor Johnson's sister? Who knows? I don't care. This is an Amy Winehouse sort of biopic. I guess it's a biopic. Uh, it's basically about her creating her like best-selling album and the relationship that inspired the song that is the title of this movie, Back to Black. And briefly about her life or just the specific time in her life, it's not a story about her in the beginning discovering music, getting the music, the ending of her life, they don't go into all of that. This is only just a specific part of Amy Winehouse's life. And uh, just like the Bob Marley movie that came out months ago, this movie sucks. <laughs> I'm not sugarcoating this one. I'm not gonna try to be nice or get brownie points with Hollywood, because who cares? When they make a bad movie and a disrespectful movie, I gotta call it out. This movie is not good. It is not well written. It is not well directed. Uh, the acting is average. Uh, Marissa uh, Marissa Bello, uh, she is trying. She's doing a pretty good Amy Winehouse impersonation. It's not. It's not like a top-notch performance it's it's not it's, it's something i was i was expecting something just a lot more grander and just more real and raw maybe they would, would have gotten that with a better script and maybe a better director um the music scenes were also not that captivating uh i thought jack o'connell was pretty good a eddie marson was okay but for the most part the acting isn't top-notch uh, I like that this movie is unrated though. It's very vulgar. It's very dark. It shows the dark side of Amy Winehouse's story. The movie would, had balls to actually show that, show the grittiness and the rawness of Amy Winehouse, unlike what Bohemian Rhapsody couldn't do and the Bob Marley One Love couldn't do. At least this movie did have the balls to show the darkness, the drugs, the swearing, the profanity, all this crazy shit and stuff. It's just the story itself isn't that captivating. It's just not interesting how they tell the story. Uh, Amy Winehouse comes off super unlikable, and I know she wasn't always the most likable person, but I know she was a lot more likable than how she's portrayed in this movie. Um, I don't know if they got all the facts right, because I don't know everything about Amy Winehouse, but I feel like they didn't, because there's so many scenes that feel super dramatized and super forced. Uh, again, if you just watch the documentary, Amy, it's just such a better story and a better film about Amy Winehouse you know it is a documentary it just it's so more it's more real and it feels so personal this one just felt like a soulless Hollywood biopic trying to cash off of a big name that passed away sadly and it just doesn't work it doesn't work as a movie uh it just it doesn't flow right it just it felt so jumbled and just it felt like I was watching a tv movie I don't know just nothing about this movie felt like there was effort put into it i don't know just the writing felt sloppy just the way they do some of the musical the music moments and then they just cut to the next scene and then they go like months later without explaining a lot of things and just like it's so horribly paced and so horribly edited it's just it's so bad this movie it's just so amateur watching it it's just i don't know what the hell they were thinking uh, the trailers made this movie seem like, it was going to be great and going to be so pure and just a great, raw story about Amy Winehouse and the tragedy of her life. But they don't really do that. They focus mostly on the relationship with her and with Freddie. And they focus on the album. They focus on, like, the dark side of her life and the dark side of shit she's done. But they don't go too much of her backstory and the ending of her story. And there's just so much things they left out of this movie. And I just I don't know what they were thinking. What the hell? Would they, I don't know what they were. It was like when I was watching the Bob Marley movie. I was so excited for the Bob Marley movie. And I just left so, like, frustrated. And it was the same with this. I was like, right, they did it again. They did it again. Two movies in the same year about biopics, about movies. These are biopic movies about singers that should have been made and should be made well. And they're both just so lazy 
and just shit and disrespectful because uh, talents like Amy Winehouse and Bob Marley deserve great movies about them, not this crap. Super disappointed. Did not like this movie at all. I know the lead actress was trying her best. I could tell she was a fan of Amy Winehouse. I could tell there was effort put into this. It's just, it was not bad. It was, it was badly directed. The director didn't direct these actors properly. Jack O'Connell, at least, is a great actor. So even with a shit director, he can still give you a good performance. But the movie is not good. And I, I was just so annoyed watching this movie. And when it ended, I'm like, yeah, that is... This is right there with Bob Marley as one of the dis most disappointing films I've seen this year. So do not go see this movie. Do not give them the, the studios money and show people that this is acceptable for mediocrity crap about a legendary singer like Amy Winehouse. She deserves a good movie, so you should pay your money to go see a good movie. This is not a good movie. Skip it. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give Back to Black, an Amy Winehouse movie, a 3 out of 10. Skip it. It's trash. Go see something else. Go see the Apes movie. It's much better. <laughs> so yeah, that was my review for Back to Black. Let me know in the comments below what's a biopic about a singer that needs to be made and needs to be made properly. Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please subscribe to this channel and join the duck side.